Hey there, welcome to the captivating realm of hot deserts. First things first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, water. Or rather, the lack of it. These barren landscapes are the definition of thirsty, with barely a drop to spare. But there's a certain beauty in their stark simplicity. Now, you might be wondering, why are these places so hot and dry? Well, it all starts with the intense solar radiation near the equator, causing warm, moist air to rise like a hot air balloon. As this air cools off in the upper atmosphere, it drops its moisture like a bad habit, creating those tropical rainforests we all know and love. That air has to go somewhere, and it ain't sticking around the equator forever. It starts moving toward the poles, and when it finally descends back to Earth, it's like a moisture vacuum. The warm air can hold on to more moisture than a camel's hump, so any leftover water stays locked up tighter than a bank vault. To make matters worse, these descending air columns create high-pressure zones that compress the air, cranking up the heat like a giant oven. It's like the atmospheric version of a pressure cooker. And if that wasn't enough, the high pressure acts like a bouncer, keeping out any party-crashing storms or rain clouds. So, what do we end up with? A recipe for the ultimate desert climate, cloudless skies, scorching temperatures, and rain that's as rare as a snowflake in the Sahara. It's like Mother Nature's version of a practical joke. These desert regions come in two flavors, the true hot deserts, BWH, and the hot semi-arid steppes, BSH. The difference? One's as dry as a bone, while the other manages to squeeze out a tiny bit of rain, just enough to support some tough, stubborn shrubs that refuse to give up. Now, let's take a virtual trip around the world and check out some of these hot and dry hotspots. In the United States, we've got the Mojave Desert, stretching across Southern California, Nevada, and Arizona. It's like a giant sandbox for grown-ups. Head south, and you'll find yourself in the Sonoran Desert of Mexico, where the cacti stand tall and the heat is always on. But if you really want to experience the king of all deserts, look no further than the mighty Sahara in Africa. This behemoth covers practically the entire northern part of the continent, making it the largest hot desert on the planet. It's so big, it could swallow up all the other deserts and still have room for dessert. The Sahara's influence extends into the Middle East, too, covering the Arabian Peninsula and parts of Iran, Pakistan, and even India. It's like a giant, sandy blanket that just won't quit. Down in southern Africa, the Namib Desert hosts some seriously cool coastal fogs, while the Kalahari Desert invites you to unleash your inner adventurer. And let's not forget about Australia, where the vast majority of the continent is one giant desert party. The Red Heart of Australia is home to a bunch of smaller deserts with names like the Great Sandy, Victoria, and Gibson. So, what kind of scenery can you expect in these hot and dry climates? Well, Plants are few and far between, but that just means you get an unobstructed view of the Earth's rocky bones. The wind plays sculptor, carving the rocks into mesmerizing sand dunes that stretch as far as the eye can see. It's like a giant zen garden, minus the rakes and tiny bridges. In areas with a smidge more rain, hardy shrubs stop the landscape, spaced out like they're practicing social distancing. And let's not forget about the most famous desert dwellers of all, the cacti. These prickly pals have adapted to survive in a world where rain is as rare as a unicorn sighting. They hoard moisture like it's going out of style, making them the camels of the plant kingdom. So there you have it, the incredible, scorching world of hot deserts. These landscapes may seem inhospitable, but they've got a charm all their own. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. And as always, share your thoughts and experiences with us in the comments section below.